My beautiful daughters, it is with deep heart of joy I welcome you to her presence today once again. Today we shall be performing two important rites. But first, we have among us the newly graduates. I want you to step forward and submit to Goddess Sierra the list of things you want from her. Now that you've graduated and are about to face the world. Rejoice, for your wishes have been granted. As long as you remain loyal to Goddess Sierra, you shall have it. As long as you wish it, you shall see the fulfillment of your wishes sooner than expected. Step forward. Your friends have recommended you highly. But I must ask, have you really made up your minds to be descendants of Goddess Sierra? To abide by her rules and lords? To partake of her endless blessings and forever remain in her bosom? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, I do. Uh, Speak yourselves. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, Goddess Sierra. Good. Nancy? Serve them the drink. You have entered the everlasting covenant with Goddess Sierra to abide by her rules and laws. Goddess Sierra protects and rewards her own. 
As long as you shall desire it, you shall have it. You shall be among the ruling class in your various campuses and the society at large. But as long as Goddess Sierra shall bless you, there is still her golden rules you must keep. I see. Actually, but a bit nervous. Huh? Nervous? <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 I understand how you feel being a first timer, but I actually think you'll feel better if you can just follow me. Because we need to have some cheat chat. Let's go outside. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Can someone tell us why you girls are nervous and not comfortable with our party? We are not just nervous. We are not comfortable with the whole thing. I mean, the rules. The, the uh, uh, no, no, it's, uh, it's not about the rules, but some other thing that really scares. Something like what? Well, in my opinion, I think the fact that it says we can't get married to a man 
or bear children of our own, you know, or the, but we are allowed to adopt. Isn't that despicable? Is that not too much to ask? No, oh, don't say that. What do you need a man for when you have all the matters in life? And what's that, if I may ask? Money, fame, and, and power. power. <laughs> you think that's enough? No. Let's face the truth. This is Africa. You know how single women are regarded in the society. <laughs> Your power, money, fame, whatever means nothing when you don't have a man to call your husband. You lie, honey. Sweetheart, you lie. Let me tell you something about the society we live in today. Men are like dogs. Once a woman has these three things, which is fame, power, and money, they flock around you. Exactly. All you need to do is cook them, pick them up like noodles, spice it, slice it up, and the world goes round. Do you understand it? Now let's talk about people who matters in the society who are still single ladies. The Minister for Aviation, Minister for Petroleum, right? Or let's talk about the Minister for Information, the one we know as a senator now. Senator Miss Felicia Iro. I'm sure you girls know her. So tell me, is she not a single lady? Are you serious? Senator Felicia Urobu? Oh! My, oh my, she's my role model! Oh, really? Yes! Oh. Well, I'm um, sorry to bust your bubbles, honey. She is one of us. And don't worry, during the oh. end of the year annual get-together party, oh. you will get to meet her. Oh, I can't wait to meet her. Oh. So why the complaints? You should even be grateful that our lady spiritual gave you lenient demands. Nothing goes for nothing. Or would you rather trade your own lives or that of your family to all this? Like they say, life is beautiful. <laughs> Enjoy it to the fullest. By the last honey. I'm telling you, come on, baby girls. Come on, let's hit the dance hall. Yes, <laughs> so let's go inside, baby girls. Come on, girls. Come, come on. on. Come on. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby. So you say again. I don't tell you, say tonight. My hair will go day. My hair will go day. I so make you call your mommy, tell them You know they come back tonight You say So many champions to take So many is your who to drop So many who to do shy So many money to spend So many she shall to smoke So many who won't be to drop So many shall you to shy You are not living because tonight If you do crack, crack, I go balance a mood Tell me what you want, tell me what you need Say them no, the joke, just tell me where to go Make me just the go Hey, tonight, tonight. you see tonight, tonight We go party tonight, oh. we go party tonight. Hey, tonight. Oh, baby, tonight. Tonight. tonight tonight, tonight, we go party tonight, oh. tonight. Hey, 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 So make you call your mommy, tell them You know they come back tonight You say, see So many champions to play So many is your who to drop So many who to go shy So many money to spend So many she shall to smoke So many who won't be to drop So many shall you to shy You are not living because tonight Tonight, we go party tonight Baby, I go carry you go, your guy come. 
I go manage amu. If you do crack, crack, I go balance amu. Tell me what you want, tell me what you need. Say them no, the joke. Just tell me where to go. Make me just the go. Mama. Mama, what's with that look on your face? I mean, why are you surprised seeing me with a car? Mothers should rejoice when good things come into the family. You just graduated. And it's barely a year you left your service. How come this car? Or did you borrow to show off? <laughs> Mama, take a good look at me from head to toe. Do I look like someone who would borrow something? Mama, this car is mine. And to surprise you more, yours is coming. Come at the days when we lived in poverty. Mama, Sister! How are you? I'm fine. You're looking fine indeed. Thank you. Stay with that car. It's mine. Why are you and Mama acting as if getting a car is a big deal? Mama, you were the one that gave birth to your daughter and named her Hope. Does it mean names don't matter anymore? Hope for things to come. Hope for better things ahead. Mama, please, don't give me dirty your salmon now. I am not ready for it. Please. And uh, you, you go. I have some things in the trunk, but you'll bring them later. For now, come and give me something to eat. I am very hungry. What did you cook? Mama, come inside. Please, I'm more fun. Mama, is international law. Doesn't mean I cannot open this door. Hmm. Hope, just respect yourself and leave this thing you know, before you spoil now the thing you have spoiled something. I've been having serious of bad dreams about you. And where they are showing me is not a place a child of God should be. You know how my dreams work? So please tell me, my child, are you into any group? Oh, God, is it? I mean, even when you were in school. God forbid. God forbid I reject it for myself. Mama, these your dreams are very bad. And it's not about me. Please, please, stop having those dreams about me, because I am very fine. The thing is that I got a job from an oil firm, and as the good Lord may have it, I got promoted to a higher level in the office. So, the dreams are not about me. I think it's familiar spirit. Do you still go to church? Mama, I am a pastor's daughter. That my father is late does not mean I should separate myself from the foundation he laid. See, in the church where I worship, 
I am a choir mistress. I am a prayer warrior. I am in the evangelical team. Hmm. We go for a soul outreach on a daily basis. Mama, look at me from head to toe. Forget this gown I'm wearing. I came directly from the office. Do I look like a worldly person? I will not say that. But please be a child of God. Never forget that this life offers anything good as far as you're living in sin. Nem. Kamju kenegu fuajuju. Is buying a car a sin? I didn't say that either. But using evil money to buy a car is a sin and attracts death. But if your hands are clean and your money genuine, even the heavens will rejoice. Mama, can you please stop worrying about me? I am fine. The Lord is doing his wonders in my life. As you see me like this, Mama, I am grace personified. It is the grace of God that is working in my life. The only thing I need from you is your support. Pray for me always so that I will get promoted even to the highest level in the office and make more money. Just keep praying for me. I shall be praying for you, my child. Mm -hmm. Pray. Pray without ceasing, Mama. Mm -hmm. I shall be doing that. Yes. Good morning. This one you are glowing. Is it because of the new car your sister just bought? Yeah. <laughs> Have I not been glowing since? And my sister bought a car. Is it a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. But this one, all our girls are buying cars. And my sister has not even bought a car. Just. She is not a graduate now. When you go to school, graduate and get a good job. What is car, Kwan? Nancy has a very good car. Kate and even Amara of Iube community who works with the telecom company. So why should my sister's own be different? Very soon, I'll go to school. And when I finish, I'll get a good job and buy a beautiful car. Hmm. It's easy for you to say. Not that you even have Waiek. School, they don't agree you. And you never have a right jam. Hey! Please, I you not greet you this morning to start insulting me, please. Ndala, don't worry, I'll surprise you. Adugo, my dear. I summoned you at such sharp notice because there's a problem. It has come to my notice that one of my daughters is about to betray the sisterhood. She has supposed to betray her oath of allegiance to Goddess Sierra and opt out. The former is about to betray us. And she must be stopped. What do I do, my goddess? You know exactly what to do. Let her pay the price of betrayal. I have handicapped her spiritually. Then you do the rest. Your last wish is my command. Goddess. Go. Go, my daughter. Bia, huh? do you know that Elizabeth bought a car to you? Nah. Kendo, mamu kuneze. Chero, did you see the car with your two naked eyes? Kona koro ga koro. A sister has just confirmed. Just now, just now. Hey! Kendo, we are liabilities. Hmm. Huh? How can we sit and be talking? A girl will just bam out of, out of this village 
and travel to the city. The next thing you will hear is that the girl has bought a car. And the girl will carry that car and pass in front of us. I want to call it now. It's high time that both of us will go to the city. When we reach to the city, we will hustle and make money because our mates are making money and buy cars. But wait, which our mates are you even talking about? Is it those ones doing yahoo yahoo in the city? It's not better. Yeah. It's not about Kango is Akabamao. I will never be part of it. Eh? Because even the international Yahoo boy is now behind bars in America and nobody knows when he's coming out. Thank God you said international. In fact, international behind the bars. Okaramuma. I will stay here. Eh? It's better that you stay here because me, stay here. I'm going there. I'm not going to. I'm going here. to make it. You can Anyhow. Can you not come to me here? You heard all I said. Be an example to others. A pastor's daughter should live an exemplary life. Hmm? And I would suggest, like I told you last night, to sell this car. Because men see women with wealth as non-wife material. And the most important thing in your life right now is to get married and have kids. Not a car. Mama, mm -hmm. I, I will get a man that will marry me and introduce him to you. And the car? Do you want me to sell the car and be trekking to work? But is that what Mama is trying to say? Shut that? up! Look at this cockroach. Who asked you to speak? The woman man here. <laughs> Mama. If what you want, I mean, if what will make you happy is me selling this car, I promise you will not see it again. I will sell it. Hmm. Because the most important thing, my dear, is for you to get married. You know, uh -huh. so I'm not hired you. I will call you when I get to go. My dear, Johnny Messis. Thank you, Mama. Messis. The Lord will protect you. Amen. Thank you, Ma. Dear. Come on, will you go and open the gates for me? I Take a walk of freedom, freedom, free. I wanna be free, freedom, free. I know do I get no freedom, I wanna be free. I need my freedom. What is your problem? What is wrong with you? I've been calling you several times. You don't take my calls. You don't return my calls. Why are you avoiding everybody? What is your problem? I want to be happy. I want to be free. So let me be. I don't need you anymore. No more darkness. I have seen the light. The light of freedom. Yeah. I wanna take a walk of freedom. Freedom, freedom. Leia, Leia, to be honest, I am fed up with you guys. Yes, I want out. What? Hold on. I hope what I've been hearing is not true. The rumor, I hope it's not true, right? 
You heard right. I am getting married to the man that I love. Girl, you're mad. You are going crazy. You are going nuts. You are stupid. No. I am not going mad. I am okay. I am just tired of this whole shit. I am the only child of my parents. Henry engaged me. I am in love. I can't resist him any longer. Hey, hey girl, this, this, this rules you are going through is too rough. You would not survive it. This is too dangerous. You will not survive it. You know, our mother spirit will not go. Do this nonsense. She won't. What is wrong with you? Nay, nee, I don't mind. If this is the only way I will get myself free from this devilish fraternity, I don't mind. See, listen. I don't want to lose you. I am scared of losing you. Please, don't you understand? I don't want to die too. But you of all people should understand my plight. Yeah, I am tired. I wish I had known. I want my I want to have gotten myself into this rubbish. Me, I am the only child of my parent. My father is dead. And my mother wants to see her. She wants to carry her grandchildren before she joins her ancestors. I love her so much. I cannot deny her this little favor. I am out of the sisterhood. I'm sorry. See, girl, I don't want to lose you. I am scared of losing you. Oh no. Hey, I'm sorry. See. <laughs> We both know that you cannot escape our mother's spiritual anger. But do what you need to do to survive. And I would advise, if you ask me, that you just leave this town. Go away from here. I wish you good luck. Thank you. I wanna take your work of freedom. Freedom, freedom. I wanna be free. Freedom, freedom. I know who I get no. Freedom. freedom, oh, it's been long I am in darkness, I want my freedom. <laughs> You're still angry over what your sister said. Uh -uh. Uh, as if you don't know your sister again. Uh -uh. Don't worry, see. She's going to be the first to call you when she can. Mm. Mama, what did I do wrong now? What did I do wrong? Is it a crime to talk in this house again? <laughs> no, it's not a crime. Seriously, it's not a crime. But she's your elder sister. So she has the right to shut you up. Eh? Don't worry. Eh? It's okay now. <laughs> <laughs>
Amanda, my mind is troubled. <laughs> Don't tell me you are still regretting. I am. And I will spend the rest of my life regretting it. The truth is, I didn't know that the court is this deadly. I thought it was just a male campus fraternity. Because I envied the likes of Matinda, Sophia, and I wanted to be like them. Me too. I, I was, I, I thought it was just a mere high school secret court. And that's why I wanted to join them. But girl, the deed has been done. There's nothing we can do. We can change it. Come to think of it, it's even better. I mean, our lives are now defined. We've been promised of a better future, of a brighter tomorrow. I mean, we don't have to worry about anything after our graduation. And that's what every girl wants. That's what every human being on earth wants. To live a luxurious life, have your own car, command money. I mean, you should rejoice, girl. Let's rejoice. Let's rejoice. Yes. Over what, Amanda? Over the fact that you cannot have a child of your own, let Lo get married. This is wrong, Amanda. Does it really matter? It does. At least to me. You don't know the joy I hope to get carrying my own child. Get married to the man I love and live happily. Amanda, what's the essence of this whole thing if you cannot get a family of your own? Please, stop. Please. I know you wouldn't want to incur the wrath of Lady Spiritual upon yourself. Oh, please. Remember, we are new converts and our eyes are on us. Please, let's mind what we say or whatever we discuss. And please, let's end this conversation here. Please, let's go. Amanda. Let's go, please. This is... She declined. <laughs> Girls, is it not obvious that the rumor is true? There's no two ways about it. I'm pretty sure of this. Ifoma is getting married to her longtime lover, Henry. She dares not. She dares not try that. I mean, that is her breaking her oath of allegiance to the goddess. That girl does not know where she's headed to. Um, 
Chinenye. Ifoma is your best friend. Why don't you talk to her? Talk to her? Talk to who exactly? I have been calling her for days now. She's not taking my calls. She's not even returning my calls. How will I talk to her? And she has moved out of the house. She, she has? has? Well, yes. She has moved out and then she would have known better than, I mean, hiding from her shadow. Nene, you honestly need to look for that girl. I mean, speak some senses into her. We are not ready to lose her yet, not now. Well, um, there is no need of you talking some sense into her main brain. It's a pity because I have gotten the spiritual order to get rid of her. The fact still remains that I'm going to get rid of her. It's an order and it must be followed. That's fine now.
Neye, how? Do you think that when I asked you to leave this country, is this what I meant? What is your problem? I asked you to leave this country as soon as possible. You know that if this people want to get you, they will get you and kill you. Don't you understand? What's your problem? Neye, I cannot leave this country. I will, but not until after my wedding. My fiancé is getting suspicious already when I moved house. Why are you being so stubborn? Why? See, you know I should not be doing this. It is risky, but I'm doing this because of the way you are to me. Let me tell you something, darling. Nancy has been assigned to kill you. And of course you know she will find you and kill you if you are still in this land. What's your problem? Leave your ass up. <laughs> oh, Nancy. They already made me spiritually invalid. If she wants to come for my life, let her come and get it. Huh. If, if I'm, I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you, please. Leave this country ASAP. After my wedding. Nay, after my wedding, please. Why are you be so stubborn? Why are you be so stupid? I wanna take a walk of freedom. Freedom, freedom. I wanna be free. Freedom, free. Hello. Hi, beautiful. It's Michael. Sorry, Michael from where? Michael, the umbrella guy. Oh, the umbrella guy. Yes. You know, I've been. Anyway, Sam, thank you. Thanks to your umbrella and the gas. You know, I would have been beaten so hard by doing. You are welcome. You're welcome. You, 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 you know I didn't get your name the other day? You know I'm Michael, but I, I don't know your name. Oh, well, you could call me Nancy. Nancy? Okay. So, Miss Nancy, I... I'm sorry, you did just call me Miss. And what gave you the impression that I'm a Miss? Well, I don't remember seeing a ring on your finger. Well, I guess you called for your umbrella, right? Uh, well, this call isn't about the umbrella, because that I can quickly replace. But the sight of you has refused to leave my mind. Your overwhelming beauty and your charm is something that I can seem to get off my chest. So I am calling tonight. Excuse me, pardon? Yes, I would like to see you again. But I'm, I'm not sure I know you. Have, have we met before? <laughs> Kate. Kate. Your younger sister's friend back then in secondary school. Kate Okafo. Kate. Kate. <laughs> Is this you? Yes, it's me. I mean. How I'm, are you? I'm good. How come you can't recognize me? Because you have changed totally. I mean, look at you. Gracious me. You look ah. absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 
I see I'm also put up weight in, you know, in, oh. in the right places. Eh? Thank you. <laughs> How have you been? Well, I've been good. So, what are you doing? Ah, uh, well, I run my own business. I am a businessman now. What? Yes, I own my own company. Really? Right. Oh, congrats there, congrats. Thank you so much, Kate. Goodness oh. me, it has been ages. <laughs> huh? can, can I have your number? Sure, 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 sure. How's everyone at home? Oh, we are good. Ah, it has been ages. So nice to, to yeah. see you. Please do Same well game. to call me, eh? Sure, definitely. I'm calling you right away. It will be nice to reconnect. Oh, I'm calling you right away. <laughs> Uh, all right, I have my phone on the car, so uh, but you, you call me and then we'll talk. Uh, okay. All right. You take care of you oh, now. You eh? too. All right. Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Take your work of freedom, freedom, freedom. Day. I wanna be free, freedom, freedom. Day. I know, do I get no freedom, freedom. I wanna be free, Day. I need my freedom. freedom. It's been long, I am in darkness. I want my freedom. <coughs> what is it? <coughs> what is the problem? Nothing. I I'm fine. But you don't look it. You're troubled. Okay. Is there about your husband to be? No, Mama, no way. We are fine. Everything is moving on well. Mama, go and sleep. We are okay. How can I sleep? How can I sleep when you are here? Sitting. You are awake. You are not sleeping. You are troubled. How? Mama. It's late. You shouldn't be up. Like I said, I am fine. Go to bed, please. Are you sure? Yes. Life for one, I want to be happy, I want to be free. So let me be, I don't need you anymore. No more darkness, I have seen the light, the light of freedom. I want to take a work of freedom. Do you want? Chine, please, I beg of you. I've been following you all this while so I can explain myself to you. Listen, you need to hear me at first. Shut up! Just shut the useless and bloody mouth up! You bloody liar! What do you understand? Huh? No, 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 I'm, I'm asking you. What do you understand? Do you understand the fact that someone loses a special person? Do you understand the pain of losing an only child? Which one do you understand? Which one? I'm asking you. Oh, oh, no. 
I should believe that you have a conscience, right? Do you? No, of course. Your conscience has been twisted to save the devil. For goodness.